Hello, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to create this right hand post too. So let's start a new part file. Click OK. And on the sketch tab, select sketch. And this drawing is an inch. So I'm going to move all my sketch planes over here. To create this part, I am going to start with the box and I'll cut all the pieces out of it. So I'll select the front plane and I'm going to start with a center rectangle. So let me move it over here. Center rectangle. I'm going to add my dimension. The first dimension is 3.12. And the second dimension is 3.62. And once I have my fully defined sketch, come to the feature tab, extrude. And I'm going to extrude it by the mid plane. And the distance is going to be 3.4. And click OK. So the next thing we are going to draw is the cut out this part of the box. So let's select the top face and sketch. And let me draw my rectangle, not a center rectangle, but a corner rectangle just to kind of mark that area. So something like that. Then I can go normal too. So we are going to add the dimension, which is two. So from this edge to that line is two. So it's our sketch is fully defined. Let's go to the isometric view. So we have to so just to confirm that we have our sketch on the right face. Yes, we do. So your sketch should be on this side and the distance is two. So this two is this dimension two you are looking at over here. So we'll come to the feature, extrude cut. We are extrude cutting down. The entire distance is 3.62, but the distance is 0.88. So we have 3.62 minus 0.88. and accept that and click OK. So the next thing we are going to do is cut out this piece on the inside. So to do that, we know to cut out that piece, it is offset 0.2 from this face. So let's select reference geometry plane. We select this face. We want to offset it 0.2 flip the direction so it's on the inside and make sure your dimension is 0.2 and click OK. So now we'll select that plane and sketch number two. So we want to draw a shape like this. So let's just draw something like this for now. A line Draw a shape like that. Draw another line from this point coming out. And select that line, make it a construction line. So this line is the equivalent to this line you are seeing over here. So now we can add our dimension. First, we are going to add the angle, which is 15. So it is 15 degrees to that line. And the next dimension is the 1.24, which is from the bottom edge to this line. And the next dimension is 1.62, which is from this line to that top line. So we have a fully defined sketch. We are going to extrude cut in that direction, a distance of, so we can add these two numbers together and divide it by two just to get the number in the middle. So even looking at it, we know the number in the middle will be 0.751. So we'll click OK. 
good so now once we cut that out it looks something like this I'm going to hide my plane because I don't need it anymore so the next thing we can do is cut out the rest of the shape so we'll select this inside face and sketch so I'm just going to select normal 2 select normal 2 again so when you are normal 2 make sure your gizmo is pointing your origin point is pointing to this side and you can kind of see the L shape so when you select normal 2 it might be on this face you don't want it on that face see you don't want it on this face you want it on this the other face so I'm going to select normal 2 so so you have the L part on the bottom so now let's draw our shape so we have something like this again good so now the first thing we want to do is add this dimension which is point 0.2 which is from this point to the bottom of the cut so from this point to that point so select your dimension select that point at that point drag it out make it point 0.2 and I'm going to put it normal too so you see what it looks like. So you should have something like that, point two. And the next thing we want to do is select this line, your sketch line, holding down the control key, select this edge, any of this edge. You can select that or this, it does not matter. So I'm going to select those two and make it parallel. So they are parallel to each other. And once you add that, that should fully define your sketch. Not fully define your sketch, but should fully define that line. Then for this top line, we just need to add that dimension, which is one. So from here to here is one. Good. So I have an extra sketch there. I'm just going to delete that. So now we have a fully defined sketch. We'll come to feature, extrude cut. We want to extrude cut in this direction and it is going to be true all. And click OK. I'm going to go to isometric view. And that is how you create the cut and that shape. So now we have the basic shape. The next thing we need to do is just that, adding our O and make this bottom piece. So let's select this face and sketch. I'm going to go normal too. So um, looking at this piece, you can see the line going to the center point of that hole and also to the center point of that hole. And the dimension to the position of that line is 1.56. So it is 1.06 plus 0 0.50 which is 1.56 which is also half of our part remember we extruded we create this part by the mid plane so that means the center that line is located where our origin point is and i'll show you that so all we need to do for now is just draw a sketch so let's draw a corner rectangle something like that and let's add a line that is coincident with this with the rectangle and just draw something going up like that let's add the dimension first so we have a dimension which is from that edge to that line is 0.38 which is right here 0.38 so now let's add the entire the length for the entire rectangle so we add the dimension, which is point. So we can add these two numbers together and divide it by two. So that's giving us 0.75. And we'll click that point, holding down the control key, click your origin point and make it coincident. So, and I'm going to select that line and make it a construction line just to test what i told you if i dimension from this edge 
to this line, it should be 1.56. So we have 1.56, which is good, which is the same thing as the 1.06 and the 0.5. So when we make this center O, we can just constrain them by our origin point. So we have this feature. The next thing we need to add is the dimension, the bottom. So from the top face to the bottom is 3.76. So select the top face to the bottom and it's 3.76. We have a fully defined sketch and we're going to go to our feature and extrude it the opposite direction and through all you have something like that and click OK. So the next thing we want to do is cut this slot in there. So select this face again and sketch number two and let's draw a corner rectangle something like this draw the same thing over here holding down the control key select this point and that point make them horizontal and let's add our dimension so this dimension is 0.12 and it is right there and we can also just select this line holding down the control key select this line and make them equal to each other and the next dimension is 0 0.06, so which is this line, 0 0.06. So we have our fully defined sketch. Come to feature, extrude cut, and we want to select true all. So we are extrude cutting true all, and click OK. And let's just go to the isometric view so you can see what we've done so far. So that is this space. So the last two things we can do is add the holes. So let's come to our feature manager tab and select hole wizard. So I'm going to come to the position and select this top face. And I'm going to click just to add the point going to go normal two. So we are adding this hole. So I will select that point, holding down the control key, select the origin point and add a vertical relation. Remember because the way we designed this part, that hole is on the same point as our vertical, as our horizontal line. For example, if I add that dimension, it should give us 1.56, which when you add this two number, it is 1.56. So the next dimension we want to add is 0.56, which is from this edge to that point. It's 0.56. So the next thing we want to do is come to the type tab and it is a counter ball O. So it, Make sure you keep all this value. So it is 0 0.6, 0 0.625, 0 0.98, and 0.62. No, 0 0.938 and 0 0.62. And it is true all. It's true all and select OK. And we are going to do the same thing for this bottom one. So let's select the whole wizard. And the type is, whole type is counter ball. We have all these options. So make sure the option is the same as the last one. Then come to the position tab, select this face and select again to add the point for your hole. And once you add the point, press escape and number two. And we can again, select the point for your circle select your origin point and add a vertical relation and the next dimension we need to add is the 2.2 .2. so from the center point of that hole to the center point of this hole is 2.2 .2. so we select this hole 
and the center point, which is 2.2. We have a fully defined sketch and we've added all this value. And the next thing, it is also true or. So, and the next thing we will do is press the OK. So the last thing we want to do is draw this hole. So again, the hole wizard. And this time let's change it to a straight tap. And I'm going to select, come to the position tab. Select that face. I'm going to go normal two. So let me move it over here so you see what's going on. I'm going to select my, to add my first point and select over here to add my second point for my second hole. Then once I'm done adding those two points, I'll press escape. And the next thing is to add the di dimensions. So from this edge to that first point is 0.5, right? Which is right here. And from the center point of this hole to the center point of that hole is 2.12. And let's select this point and that point and let's add the horizontal relation. So they are both on the horizontal plane and the dimension from the edge. Or we can also do the dimension from this circle to the center point of that circle is 0.88. And once we're done, we can come back to the type tab. We have that. And the custom sizing is going to be 5 8 by 11. So that's 5 5 8 by 11, which is right here. It is the thread class is 2B. And we want to select up to next. Not true, or we just want it up to that face. And click OK. So that is how you create this feature. And the next thing we can do is add our fillet. So the first fillet is 0.24. And we will add it to this edge. Click OK. And the next fillet is 0 0.06 all around. And we can start adding it. We have one over there here, there, here, there. We have it on this face, back here, there, here. So I'm just going to select all the edge that has all the fillet. I think there's one over here. And also this top edge and um, this back and there. And I believe that's all the face and click OK. Anyway, thank you. That is how you create this right hand post. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you and I'll see you in the next tutorial.